What is up everybody on YouTube? This is Venthors here coming back at you and I got another RPG Maker tutorial for you. And today we're going to continue talking about variables. Um, we're going to use variables to create an alignment system. And actually, uh, saying that it's an alignment system is really overcomplicating it as far as this application is concerned. Because really, all an alignment is, is a variable. <laughs> it's something that can change, okay? It's a value. Okay, for this tutorial, we're going to make a variable that can be between negative 100 and, and 100, okay? Anything in the negative spectrum is evil. Anything in the positive spectrum is good, and dead on zero is going to be neutral, okay? Um, variables are extremely crucial to any RPG, and if you need... Uh, a refresher or you need some help with variables click up top here uh, on the annotation to look at the uh, my other video about variables a more beginners guide okay so what I have for you today is I have a couple of events here on a plain map because that's how I do right um, and I, the first one we're gonna mess with is a sign and the only purpose of the sign for the purpose of this tutorial is just to show us what the value of our alignment variable actually is okay we're only using it for now okay so let's open up the sign and we're going to use a show text command but before we do it we actually have to create a spot for our alignment variable okay so go over here to control variables click that and then click over here to add a new variable okay I already added it to slot one because this is a blank empty new project uh, use your first empty uh, spot for alignment you can call it karma or whatever else you want to alright so click OK after you do that and then cancel here because we're not actually doing anything with that yet click show text and we're gonna put you know your current alignment Oh my god, I can't spell today. Is and then if you don't remember how to insert a value, okay, because we did cover it in the last uh, variable tutorial, just hover over here and you'll be reminded that it's a backslash V and brackets. Now, depending on which spot your alignment variable is on the list, is going to depend on what number you put inside the brackets. Mine's number one, so I'm going to use one, and that's all we need for the sign. If we were to start this right now and walk up to that sign, it would say that your alignment is currently zero because we have not done anything to alter its value, but we're about to. Okay, so let's go over here to this lady, and you know we're going to have her do something like a simple yes or no question. I don't know. Do you like bunnies? I don't know. I'm just, I'm just so scatterbrained today. All right. So, uh, do you like bunnies? So we'll do a show choices command. Either yes, you do, or no, you don't. Okay. If you do like bunnies, we're gonna add some uh, points to your alignment. If you say no, we'll say that you know that adds evil alignment to you. I don't know. I was just using it as an example. But uh, one thing I'm doing in my game is that any choice that positively affects your alignment, makes you good, or more good, rather, um, I'm going to highlight those choices in green, and then I'm going to highlight the evil choices in red. And you can still use those uh, color commands in your show choices box. So just in case you forgot, it's a uh, backslash C. And then you're going to have to figure out the color codes uh, I happen to know that green is the, th the third color and red is the tenth color so uh, uh, if you search if you search in the RPG maker VX ace actual forums um, there's people that put a little chart up there and that's assuming you haven't loaded custom colors and all that kind of stuff in there so there we go so if you click yes, she's gonna like that. So we'll uh, we'll actually add. We're gonna use ten as just our number for today. So click on control variables like I just did. Make sure your alignment variable is the one that is selected here, and then we're gonna add ten. 
And then she can say something like, Me too. I love bunnies. Okay, and then if you say no, we're going to subtract from the alignment variable. We're going to subtract 10. And she can say something, I don't know, whatever you want, but I don't, you're a jerk. Hit OK. And as far as that lady is concerned, we are done. Let's test it. Always, always, always play test. Cannot stress that enough. Always play test. All right, so let's check the sign. Our current alignment is zero, as it should be. Do you like bunnies? Yes. We should be at 10. And then if you say no, she says you're a jerk. Then we should be back at zero. And we are. So, you're probably wondering what this lady's here for. Um, I, I put this other event here to kind of illustrate uh, to you all how you can use alignment to change what people say to you okay it's going to check the value this lady's going to check the value of your alignment variable and depending on what your alignment is she's either going to say you know she's either going to say you're truly evil she could say you're slightly evil you're neutral you're slightly good or truly good okay make it whatever you want but uh it's going to take some conditional branches okay so let's get started with our first conditional branch make sure variable is selected in the alignment variable and we want it to be less than negative fifty okay this is going to be the truly evil you are truly evil else right if you're not truly evil well what are you then so we're gonna have to keep searching we're gonna have to keep uh, looking at the alignment variable and if it's less than zero that would make the character slightly evil not evi with a period at the end okay evil well if you're not truly evil or slightly evil we're going to say you are uh, we're going to keep checking and alignment is equal to zero. Now for this one, we don't want to set handling when conditions do not apply, so just uncheck that. Hit OK. That way it won't make another else part. You are neutral. So we got all the negative stuff covered, okay? So if you look up here, if alignment is less than negative 50, you're truly evil less than zero you're slightly evil and then equal to zero you are neutral and then we're going to go on the positive side so we'll do a conditional branch variable alignment is greater than 50 and when that happens she's going to say you are truly good If not, if alignment is greater than zero, and then uncheck this again, she's going to say you're slightly good. Alright, so I'm going to click up here to highlight the evil and neutral part. So just double check and make sure you have the values correct. Less than negative 50, less than zero, and then equal to zero. And then the positive side, greater than 50, greater than zero, and we're straight. So let's double check it and make sure it works. So she should say you're neutral, which we are. So I'm going to add 10. And she, sa she says you're slightly good. Let's keep adding 10. And she should say now, because we are at 70, or 60, excuse me, since we're at 60, which is greater than 50, she should say you're truly good, which she does. And then let's subtract. So 
So we should be at negative 10. She says you're slightly evil. And then we'll do it for more. And now that our, we should be at negative 60 and negative 70. Man, I can't count today. She says you're truly evil. Okay, so that just gives you an idea of how you can manipulate, or maybe not even manipulate, but how different things can happen depending on what your alignment is. Now, the only other question you might have is this person here, you can just keep talking to her and keep increasing or decreasing the alignment permanently. Uh, the answer might be obvious to some of you, but if it's not, it's no big deal. We're going to use self switches here, okay? So we're going to use the, we're going to start with the yes block, okay? If you say yes, that's the good thing. So we'll con use uh, control a self switch. We'll turn self switch A on. We'll create a new event page that only applies when self switch A is on. And then she can say, I don't know, whatever. You're awesome. And that's all she'll say. You know, you won't be given the option anymore to choose. Okay, and then same thing down here. We're going to do a self switch. Instead of A, we're going to use B. And then we'll make a new event page. That only applies if self switch B is on. And then she can say something like, You're a big jerk face all right and I forgot the graphics the first time my bad all right make sure your graphics are all straight hit OK and let's try it out I'm just gonna say yes and see what do I like bunnies? Of course I do. Who doesn't like bunnies? She's okay. So now we're gonna to talk to her again. She she keeps saying you're awesome, and then if I had said no, she's gonna say you're a big jerk face, and that's it. Um, you know, just keep in mind, like I said earlier, uh, variables are very very crucial to any game. Uh, you know, get comfortable with them, and you know, just keep in mind, like maybe it's not an alignment system you want. You know, you could use something similar. Uh, you know, to build up a locksmithing ability or something like that they're all variables and they all can be manipulated in a, in a similar way and don't use 10 don't use my numbers if you don't want to maybe you want you know the alignment to go from negative a thousand to positive a thousand and then you know have varying levels of of good and evil uh, that's fine just you know use this as a foundation and you should be able to create a very simple alignment system. Now, I just want to thank you all so much for watching. Your support means the world to me. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. Send me some suggestions. I'm always open to new suggestions. And uh, stay tuned for the next video. I'm Venthros. I'll see you next time.